Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to uninstall MariaDB from Linux and Toz. So let's connect to the Linux box where MariaDB is installed and then we will uninstall it. First of all, we will open Putty and then uh, I'm going to just change the fonts here so we can see some commands. Okay, so connect to it and uh, provide the username and password. Okay and uh, we are connected to the linux box now let's check the service uh, of mariadb if it is running so we will run a system ctl status and then provide the service of mariadb that's mysql the name of the service that mariadb use is mysql okay so we run it and uh, we can see that uh, let me expand this one a little bit more so you can see that it is active and running i can log in and see the databases and all that so we will say mysql dash u root provide the username i'm uh, connecting with the root uh, and uh, you can see that okay so we are connected show databases and uh, you can see the databases so there are four rows we have tech brothers and all that different databases here now we will exit from here and our goal is to remove or uninstall uh, um, mariadb from this uh, box uh, so that's very simple uh, and we will say yum um if you are you want to use super user in case uh, uh, you are connected with different user and you want to um, you have to use a sudo so sudo yum remove and then uh, you will provide uh, mariadb dash server and mariadb dash client so i have installed the mariadb server and client so that's why i'm providing it if you have not installed mariadb client so you don't have to do it so hit enter and now it is going to uninstall yes uninstall it it's pretty quick so it shouldn't take for a long time so complete it successfully we run the same command system ctl status and then we'll say mysql and now you can see that it's a okay mysql.service could not uh, found if we will try to connect to the uh, mariadb it will give us uh, error as well okay so it is saying uh, okay no user or uh, directory or file because uh, it is not existing but still uh, the data directory does exist if you have uninstalled uh, your uh, mariadb but if you will go to the cd war and then uh, let me say cd and then we go to the cd lib and uh, there and say ls minus la and uh, a lot of them but we know that ls uh, sorry cd mysql that's uh, the directory so you see that that directory is still there even you have uninstalled or remove the mariadb from the linux box so, so that's where your uh, databases are saved so let's say ls minus la and see what we have here so we that's where we have the databases right here okay so uh, if you want to uh, if uh, we have done this one in windows where it give us option okay you want to keep uh, the data for future or want to remove it here uh, in this when we uninstall it we don't have it you can go to the war and the lib and then uh, remove this uh, uh, folder by yourself so let, let's go back one step uh, and right here if we say sudo or m dash r and mysql so it will remove the folder with the contents uh, now if i will go and say mysql it will not find it so one thing uh, once you do installation you you kind of go back and clean it and uh, let's go to the configuration file and see what happened with the con configuration so configuration file is in a, a folder uh, directory etc so i will say cd etc and then uh, the configuration file name is uh, uh, my dot config uh, dot c uh, c n f so if i will say b i my dot c n f see it did not even remove the configuration file so anyways the uh, if you uh, want to do totally remove all those uh, i will suggest like okay you go ahead and uninstall it first uh, by saying yum remove uh, uh, mariadb server and uh, client and uh, after that you will come back uh, to the war lib and uh, remove the mysql uh, directory 
if you have uh, in any other location where uh, you are saving this uh, data and uh, map to different uh, data, uh, data directory so you can go there and remove the, those all databases if you want to keep it keep it and also uh, try to if you need to remove the configurations file you have to come to etc and remove uh, manually uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, this video will help thanks uh, once again and subscribe and like